it can have a very um, not necessarily oppressive but kind of weighty presence on you. My relationship with Third Asian can sometimes be a little complicated. Being Asian informs most of my identity. Sometimes I will identify as Asian, but then other Indian people don't identify as Asian. Why are you considered Asian? You're in the Pacific Islander. Wouldn't you be considered more Hawaiian? And I'm like, not really. I have this awareness that it's the first thing that people notice about me. People associate Asian with East Asian. Filipinos aren't so much dismissed, they're just overlooked just because they're not as popular within at least the American culture. If you think about it, the world population, 60% of it is technically Asians. And <laughs> we don't speak of any ethnic group at large on such a continental scale. Asia as a term refers to a continent of like 40 to 50 different countries, all with really, really different like history, culture, language, religion. But the term Asian has utility. Um, it's just within that there is so much diversity that needs to be acknowledged, and especially when you extend that to Pacific Islanders. People will say things like, oh, that's so Asian, or like, why are you being so Asian, or like, stop being so Asian. And I'm like, I'm just trying to eat my lunch here. Like, I don't understand why my lunch makes, like, says that I'm being so Asian. Even when I did my hair this morning, I was like, oh, every time I put my hair in a bun, do I look too Asian? But what does that even mean? Because I am Asian. In high school, I had to deal a lot with the stereotype of being Asian and smart. Other people would say, oh, you just did well because you're Asian. Yes, I am Asian and I'm proud of it. But my first identifying like, feature should not be like, oh, that guy's Asian, so therefore he's this, this, and this. It's the way they're saying the word, and it's not the word itself. The biggest source of pride for me is whenever I see um, fellow Asians and Asian Americans uh, making their voices heard. I have incorporated my love of India into the work that I do. My mom has these signature Filipino like lumpia egg rolls. I'd always bring them and that was my way of kind of like introducing people to the Filipino culture. I feel, I feel like the reason that I am always staunchly proud of being Pacific Islander specifically is to kind of raise awareness just on a personal level. Your identity informs everything that you do and that's something to be celebrated and it's something to be excited about. No matter what, you're able to identify as Asian and you're able to understand someone's journey. If we're able to see Asia and Asian American as like a group and as a conversation, we can use something like that as a way to collectively rise up.